Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. And today, as you guys can tell from the title, I'm gonna be making some keto tacos. Very, very simple, but um, a few people asked me to do a keto recipe and I'm not too versed on keto recipes, so take it easy on me in the comments. I know that they like to use a lot of animal fats, a lot of natural fats, um, so today I'm gonna be making my cheese shells out of Oaxacan cheese. They're gonna be beautiful, you guys are gonna see. Um, I've done this recipe before, it's on my Instagram. A long, long time ago I did this recipe, but it was so, so good, so I decided to just redo it for you guys. So I'll put some timestamps up there if you guys don't wanna see this part. This is how many, this is how much I have in my fridge. So this is what I'm just gonna be using today. Depending on the size of the tomatillos, I'll do, you know, three or four of those, but since they were small, I have a couple more and not very much. And then I'm, I'm gonna throw in a couple cloves of garlic. All right, I'm gonna salt my water because I'm actually gonna be using this uh, salted water when I blend the peppers up. So I'm gonna put in three, four of those. Put the tomatillos in there. Put a little couple cloves of garlic. And cloves of garlic are dependent on what you feel um you want your garlic level to be at so i just got those up in there i'm just gonna simmer that and i'm gonna make my guacamole with the avocados red onion a tomato and some garlic i don't have cilantro today i don't really care about cilantro to be honest you guys you know it's not like something i go out of my way so i'm just gonna make this real quick All right, you guys, I'm adding my jalapenos over to my Vitamix and my tomatillos, which I accidentally disintegrated, but not really. Just gonna add those in over there. And then I'm gonna add my garlic in. I like to make my salsa, I like to make my salsa like taco shop kind of. Very watery, but still a little bit of flavor. I make my salsa, I make my salsa um, simple because <clears throat> I just like the spice. I'm only, I'm only doing it for the spice. I'm not doing it to have like all kinds of crazy, um, all kinds of crazy flavors in it. I just, I want it, I like it straight, simple to the point. So that was jalapenos, tomatillos, water, and garlic. If I had cilantro, I guess cilantro as well. That's a personal preference. Um, and then I just blend it up, salt and pepper. So, and I got this, but I'm gonna put this over here because I don't want to get burned. So, Did I stop it? Check the consistency of it. I can already tell right there that it's already too thick. It's too thick for me. I like it runny. So I'm gonna add some more water. And since this water is already salted, you know, I would take it easy on the salt if you're gonna be adding more salt. <clears throat> I'm gonna add some fresh ground pepper in there. And then, uh, 
Yeah, guys, that is watery. See? That's that's the consistency. I like it. I like it to be nice and watery. I'm not going to add any more salt. I think it's good like that. And then I add it to my squeezy bottle and then I put it in the refrigerator so it can, you know, cool down. Perfect amount. And that is my super simple salsa. We're gonna start making the cheese shells and then we're gonna um, cook the steak. So this is Oaxacan cheese. This is shredded up Oaxacan cheese. Um, the reason why I'm using this is because it melts beautifully. It tastes amazing. It's like this beautiful toasted flavor when you toast it. Um, it's kind of, I feel like Oaxacan cheese is like Mexican mozzarella. So if you don't find this, if you can't find this, just get mozzarella. It should work the same. I haven't tried it. So what I do is I get a little ball and directly on there and it's gonna spread out. So don't put too much at first. Try to get a feel of like how big you might want your taco shells to be. These are, these are my last two. I already went ahead and finished all of the other ones. This one, just be very careful. And then I'm gonna set these to the side over here. So you see all of this, um, this is all from the cheese right here. And I know in keto they like to use the fats from, you know, just animal fats. So I'm gonna um, be cooking the steak in this. I did not marinate this steak. I just wanted a nice, I wanted nice clean flavors. Very, very simple, very straightforward. I'm gonna salt this side as well. Pepper. And then I'm gonna let it sear on both sides. I'm gonna cook it to medium, slice it, and then I'm gonna build my tacos. All right, you guys, I am done cooking this steak. I'm pretty sure it's right about medium. I will be back, you guys. I'm gonna rest the steak, um, then cut it. We're gonna build it and we are gonna try it. And I'm excited. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Um, I got the taco shells and I put them in one of my taco stands just so that they're sitting up. If you don't have a taco stand, obviously you don't need to do this, but these are the finished products of my tacos. I want you guys to see how um, brown and beautiful they are on the inside. They're white, but they're very bendable. So they're not crunchy. I know some keto tacos are crunchy and if that's how you like it, then that's how you like it. Um, me personally, I like a um, more softer, more softer taco. So. I am going to build this right before your eyes and we are gonna be trying it today. Um, I got my steak over here, so I'm gonna be layering. And this right here is medium rare. That is just how I like my tacos to be. And then I got my guacamole. And this was a very, um, this was a very just kind of, I don't want to say rustic, but kind of rustic. I didn't smash it. It wasn't, I just wanted all of the pieces to kind of be intact. So the more texture, the better. Um, and then I got my salsa that you guys made. So here we go. We're going to try this for the first. Okay. Well, this is not my first time, but in a long time. So put my salsa on it. Here we go. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. 
Mm, mm. Why I keep doing that? Sorry, guys. Everything is just perfect, you guys. Let me finish building these two. And they're very thin sliced um, pieces of steak. Well, I'd say moderately sliced. All right. I'm going to put these together and then I'm going to have Chris try them. Got to finish filming. All right, you guys, I had to stop mid to uh, take a picture. If you want to see those pictures, head over to my Instagram at Lizzie Lou Food. It's going to be up here in the corner. Let me finish taking... Actually, let me finish eating. I'm going to squirt a little lemon and more salsa. Oh, my gosh. You guys, this is, this is the best invention of a taco. Mm. <clears throat> having my guacamole like this sorry I have my napkin right here having my guacamole like this with the very fresh like onions and tomatoes it really just adds that texture it really just adds that freshness because you already know that the cheese is very fatty and the steak is very <clears throat> it's very filling it's very um, hearty and so when you add that fresh and especially the salsa it just it takes it there you guys Mm-hmm. That was so good, guys. I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I'm going to go have Chris try these, and he's going to love them. But I just wanted to do a little mini mukbang and a recipe for you guys today. I'm super excited about this. You have to have to try these taco shells and put whatever you want in your tacos, whatever build it like a regular taco but i'm telling you the taco shell you're going to love it it's just perfect it's got this 
perfect amount of brownness, toastiness, without too much nuttiness that you get from cheese when it's melted. It is perfect, you guys. Make the salsa recipe, make some guac, throw this together. I'm telling you guys, I'm not gonna regret it. That's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching, of course. A great, great week, you guys.